you crossed the new you Rubicon. June 27, 2016 Dear Ones Much has shifted the past 24 hours. Early yesterday, June 26, 2016, we applauded your new, rapidly progressing, self-love abilities. Later yesterday, you internalized a self-love piece that seemed far in the future. You are now claiming your inner power externally. Even though that concept has a different meaning for each of you, the piece that touches each is that you are no longer willing to be with anyone who does not share love or joy with you. Those interactions you once thought inevitable will shift to something new or disappear. And those you thought were joyful, but fleeting, will expand. Not because you are focusing on such, but because your frequency changed yesterday from, I hope, to I know. That knowingness remains in the early stages, so you will not necessarily feel the depth of that shift today or even tomorrow. But you will, once you realize your interactions have changed. That those who were once important to you are no longer if they choose to remain in the 3D karma loop. You are claiming yourself from the inside out, resulting in new interactions and expectations for yourself. You are no longer willing to cater to the needs of others at the expense of yourself. Of course, this concept has been rattling around your inner being for months. The difference is that the energies you internalized yesterday almost force you to react differently than before. You decided months ago not to be a caretaker or a victim. Even though both roles slipped into your being here and there, you removed yourself from those situations in the most congenial fashion possible by focusing on your new intentions. As of yesterday, you no longer wish to appease those not interested in letting go of caretaking or victimization. That piece will be displayed quite definitely in the next few days. You will hear clamors of, help me. Take care of me. Why are you so selfish? All clamors that until yesterday, you felt a need to respond to or smooth over so that others did not see new you. You were almost ashamed of new you, for it was so different from 3D you. You wished to remain in the 3D loop, but shift a bit here and there internally so you could remain part of the majority. Such is no longer your goal. For indeed, you are a new Superman, who no longer feels the need to hide his identity with a me Clark Kent persona. Maintaining your secret internally is no longer a viable option. Not because you wish to proclaim to the world who you are, but that you no longer have a need to hide. Almost as if you ingested courage pills yesterday. You are who you are, whether that be 3D, 5D, or 10D. Those who wish to be of 3D now will be so in great force, as is true for you in 5D and beyond. Yesterday was a division day. Not in terms of physical violence, but accepting who you are. Hiding is no longer an option. For it is time for others to know you in all your glory. Just as it is time for you to know the same about you. You have been tiptoeing around your shifts as a Cinderella sweeping out chimneys, while in truth you are a king queen god goddess of the universes. Why did you decide en masse to display your true beings? It is so that those on the brink of determining 3D is no longer their home base, have another more comfortable place to be. Such would not be possible if you continue to hide your new being. Does that mean you stand on a soapbox on the corner declaring your new being? Do you print millions of posters to proclaim your new beingness? No, you merely live your life as it feels comfortable within your being. So it is you are beginning to fully accept and love the being you are, instead of attempting to be a little 3D and a little 5D and beyond. The Rubicon, the line has been crossed. Such happened yesterday. You might feel a bit foggy, tired, nauseous, or any number of physical sensations requiring a bit of downtime so that your being can fully assimilate new you. Some of you reading this message will not feel anything nor will you note any difference in your interactions. Such does not mean you have not crossed your Rubicon, merely that you have fewer changes to make than those clearly noting the difference. Previously, our channels often stated, allow that to be. Such statements are not now required, because you can no longer do anything different. You are truly a different person both internally and externally. 
You are indeed the forefront of this amazing transition. And others will catch your glorious light that has become brighter than that which you can contain within yourself. This transition has shifted from an internal to external slash internal transition. You are the first product of that shift. Shine your light brightly, knowing you are only responsible for yourself. So be it. Amen. Channeled by Brenda Hoffman www.lifetapestrycreations.com